Yeah, yeah. What's up, everybody? I want to work on editing and having the content in our vlog a little bit different. I don't want to time lapse through so many things. I believe that we're missing out on some value that we can be bringing you guys. I really want them to be a little bit more in depth, so I'm working on that. First off, happy holidays. Second, we're getting ready to make this heater automatically turn on and turn off via the, the PID controller, the thermocouple, the heat sink. That's all going to control the heat in the oven. It's going to be the base that says, hey, we need to bring the oven to 400 degrees and it's not 400 degrees. It's going to emit a small 12 volt charge. That 12 volt charge is going to go to this cylinder. We'll be taking out this manual solenoid. This solenoid will be in here. It'll be electric. This PID controller will say, hey, you're turned on. We need the oven to 400 degrees. Yo, get it up to 400 degrees. It sends a shock, turns this solenoid on, turns the heater on. Once it brings, brings it up to temperature, the thermocouple, the, it says, yo, hey, it's a temperature. It lets this know this sends a, a little charge out to this and says, yo, turn off. We're at, we're at temperature. That's exactly what we're gonna be working on today. First off, what I need to do is I need to take the manual solenoid out of this and I need to go ahead and put this solenoid in there. It should fit pretty well from what I've heard. I might have to drill another hole, but it should fit with no problems. I might go ahead and time lapse a little bit of this just so you guys can see what's going on. But first off, I'm gonna go ahead and unhook the propane to this, get the hose out of the way, I do have a few screws that I need to take off to take this panel off and to take that bottom off. So that's what I'm going to be working on right now. Getting this open so we can go ahead and see what's in there. And chances are I might open this side too, or at least this side because this is where the actual button is. I'm going to go ahead and get to it. Yeah, yeah. First off, let's go ahead and unhook this propane. I'd like to go ahead and give a shout out to Martin Bryla. Martin, thank you very much for your support in this channel. We appreciate you. We appreciate all our supporters and our Patreon supporters. This is a special shout out for you like we do for all of our Patreon supporters. We appreciate you and this couldn't be going on without the help of Martin Bryla. So make sure that you guys go ahead and tell him what's up. Got the propane off, the propane hose off I should say. This is the manual that we're gonna go ahead and replace, but first we've gotta pull this off. Okay, so what we'll be doing is we're gonna be taking this piece right here out, taking this piece off, and then I might need to get another piece because this is a, it's a female end and so is the end of this. So essentially it goes from this into here and then right into here, which is still the knob that turns it up and down because we still wanna be able to put it up and down. But what I'm thinking is, I'm thinking I'm gonna have to run to Home Depot and get a couple of fittings because I'm looking at this right now and that's what it looks like it's going to need. But let's go ahead and get this off.
we need to take off. Okay, there's that off. Now, those two holes are the same. What we need to do is just basically put this into this. That way this still works as well. The only problem is, is that's not the same size fitting. Those are the same size fitting. That is the same size fitting. I need to get like a double threaded stud or something like that or a piece like this with a female. That way I can screw that on right here because of the direction of the flow. That's what we're at right now. I'm gonna have to take this to Home Depot and I'm gonna have to take this to Home Depot. That's what we'll do. We'll see what we can go ahead and find to make this work. All right, everybody, I'm back. I got some parts from Home Depot to make this work. This is the piece that we are taking out and replacing with the solenoid. I needed to find a nipple because this is female and this is female. I needed to find a way to attach a new piece that screws onto the propane bottle. And then I did want to try and keep this controller in there. This is the control valve that turns it low to high. So I did want to put that on there, that way I can adjust it. Right now I don't think we're going to need to go any higher than the low setting, but if we do decide to build a bigger oven or an extension or something like that, I want to be able to still use this. This will heat a very big oven, so I want to be able to turn it up. Also, this is the original fitting that fits right here to actually bring gas into the unit, and I wanted to try and keep that original, so I was able to actually find some pieces to put together. What we'll do is we will put this all together. I wanna make sure everything's sealed off, and of course, I'm gonna test it, make sure that there's no leaks before we go ahead and fire this up. I might time-lapse this. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this stuff together right now. there just to make sure that this is held in place nice and steady uh, there shouldn't be no pressure on it but I don't want it to move and bend things and then what I'll do is <coughs> probably drill a hole and run these wires out to go ahead and hook to the PID controller but what I like to do is take this piece back off get it gummed up tighten everything down hook the propane to it 
and turn on the propane and see if there's any leaks. If there's not any leaks, then I'll turn off the propane, we'll let some gas dissipate just in case there was a small leak that we didn't catch. Then I'll turn around and I'll get a little battery and we'll turn it on a little bit and I'll test it. Or actually I got a plug and we'll test it and we'll pop the solenoid and see if it turns on. Okay, well, now is as good a time as any. I mean, I'm definitely a little fucking nervous. <laughs> I can turn the propane on real low. I can be as far away from it as possible. And we can see how it works. How it works, if it works. I do have a plug to wire it up to. I plug the blower in and then when I'm ready to turn the solenoid on, I can go ahead and plug this in. Okay guys, I don't know exactly what point the camera died. I've got everything hooked up and did a test to see if there was any propane leaks. There was none, so I'm getting ready to go ahead and plug the blower in, make sure the blower's still working, and then I'm gonna test it with propane. That's the only thing left to do. I just wanted to reiterate too. So the way I'm testing this is I'm gonna use 12 volt power source to trigger the solenoid once the blower is on. If the blower will be on, the propane will be on, I'll trigger the solenoid, the solenoid should go ahead and light it. This will actually power the PID controller, and the PID controller will be wired to this, once we know that there's no leaks and everything is ready to go. So this is just for a test, just so you know. Okay, when I plug this in, the blower should go on. And the auto light, if you hear clicking, that's the auto light. Okay. As you turn the propane on, nothing should happen. And when I plug this in, it should light. Turn everything 
everything off real quick. I want to see if I can actually turn this up a little bit. 